morning children. Oh, you all are ready with your activities, isn't it? That day which you got it. Very good. Have you done it? Did the fill in the blanks? Good, very good. But the activities we have done till now are two activities. One, the check one and other one, the comparison of the two systems. So are you all decorating your page? The activities which we have done children, you decorate it and you all know very well that we do it colourful. Is it it? Make it colourful and when you get your new notebook, you need to paste those activity sheets in your notebook. And many of you have asked that ma'am, I don't have the notebook. Some of you have asked, ma'am, I have to do in a new notebook. Yes, say yes or no. So, it's there is nothing like that that you have to use a new notebook. If you have new notebooks at home, very good. Continue in that. But if you don't have any notebook children, then you don't have to panic. Don't worry. Okay. During this situation, during lockdown, you are supposed to be at home. So, whichever notebook is available, rough notebook, old maths notebook or any other notebook in which you have pages, you do it and solve all the maths there, okay? Once you get the new notebook, then you will continue the work. You don't even have to copy it again. Wherever it is done, it will be checked in that. When you come to school, after the opening, you will submit the sheets, whether it is a page or a first sheet in your old notebook, it will get corrected in that. Okay, so you don't have to worry. Apart from that, you all are asking, ma'am, we have to use new notebook. That I have cleared. Another thing, pen you are asking. That is also no compulsion. Of course, in grade 5, you will be writing with the pen. But now, whatever is available at your home. If you have pen, go ahead. If you have pencil, no issue. Write with the pencil. Okay, now see here, our today's new topic is rounding of numbers. So, as children in the first, very first class of your maths, you all have studied that there are 10 digits. And what are those 10 digits? Digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. There are all together, together 10 digits. Okay. But when it is asked, many of you reply, ma'am, digits are numbers. How many numbers are there? How many digits are there? You all say, ma'am, it's con uh, uncountable. It's infinite. No. Digits are countable and they are only and only 10 digits. And what does digit mean? Digits means fingers. Okay. We have 10 fingers in our both hands and what in which language is uh, finger means digit that you need to find out. That is also your homework okay so here digits are 10 and now here to learn this rounding of number only for this topic here i have divided these 10 digits into two parts okay five uh, lower number and five upper number five lower numbers uh, digits i have given the name weak numbers or weak digits and upper five number i have given the name strong numbers or strong digits so, weak numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The strong numbers or strong digits are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So, th these numbers from 0 to 4, they are less than 5. So, all the numbers, all the digits which are less than 5, they round down. And they tend towards 0. And all the digits which are more than 5 or equal to 5, okay, 5 is equal to 5 and 6, 7, 8, 9, they are more than 5. So, they round up. They round up and they tend towards 10. So, with the help of this 1, 2, 3, 4, these 4 things children you need to remember when we are learning rounding of numbers. Now, let's see how are we going to round up. So, we will round off the number to the nearest 10, nearest 100 and nearest 1000. So, let's begin with 10. Okay. Round off the given numbers to the nearest 10. Here I have taken 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 examples. Okay. And this each of these number we will round off to nearest 10. So, when we have to round off our number to the nearest 10, we will see the tens place. So, which is my tens place? 1's tens. 4. 1's tens. 8, 
ones, tens, it is nine. Ones, tens, this is two. Ones, tens, this is six. Ones, tens is five. Now, first one to take the place at which we have to round up. Next, the number towards its right. Okay, so this is the right side. So, which place is towards its right? It is ones place. So, we will consider all the numbers at the ones place. Now, let's start rounding off. So, to round off to the nearest 10, we will see the number present at once. So, what is the number here? Here it is 2. Now, let's see 2. 2 is which number? 2 is a strong, uh, is a weak number. So, weak number never push the uh, digit at tens place or the number which is present at the tens place up. This weak numbers they round down. Round down means it will remain as 0. Round up means it will become, it will move towards 10. Okay. And moving means what? They will move in the number line. Number line we have 0 to 10. So that is rounding up means moving towards 10. Rounding down means moving towards 0. Okay. So this is 0 as it is weak number. And this number will not be pushed up. It will remain the same. So 42 will round off to 40. Here it is 7. What is 7? 7 is a strong number. Okay. So 7 will round off and it will round off to 10. It will move towards 10. So when this 7 will become 10, move towards 10. So this will be 0 and this 1 will be here. So 8 and this 1 becomes 9. So this addition of this 1 we will say in the language while rounding off that this will be pushed up. This will be pushed up by 7 because this is strong number. So, we also need uh, strength when we, we need to push something. When you are very weak, you cannot push many things. Okay. So, this is weak number. It, it will not move. Uh, I mean push. And this is strong number. It will push. So, when 7 pushed 8, it became 9. So, here 87 rounded off to 90. Next, again 5. 5 is which number is strong? So, it can push 9. So, the five, first 5 will become 0. 5 will become 0 and 9 will be pushed up to 10. So, 95 will be rounded off to 100. Again here 0. 0 is which? Weak. It will not push. So, 0 will be 0 and 2 will remain the same. So, 20 will be rounded up to 20. It is already a, a round off number. Okay. 20. Now, here 6. 6 is a strong number. So, will it push? Correct. It will push. And what will it become? 6. 6 will become 7. Correct. So, this will be 7 and 8. So, 866 will be rounded off to 870. Okay. Again, here 4. What is 4? 4 is a strong number. Uh, sorry. 4 is a weak number. 4 will not push. So, 4 will be 0. 5 will remain the same. So, here 254 will be rounded up to 250. So, have you seen children now how we have rounded up to the nearest 10? Now, we will learn of nearest 100 also. For rounding up to the nearest 100, the same thing we have to keep in the mind, okay? Only the place will change. So, let us some example of rounding up to the nearest 100, okay? Now, when we round off to the nearest 100, so, okay, so here round off to the nearest 100. So, we will choose the 100 place, 100 place, 1 stays 100 place, 1 stays 100 place. All I have chosen 100 place and we will have the concern with the digit or the number towards the right. So, what is the number there towards the right? That is 5, tens place, 9, tens place, 5, tens place. 8 tens place. Okay. Now let's begin. First, all the number which is towards left, the, apart from the concerned number, it will be 0. So first 7 we will put 0. Now let's see 5. 5 is which number? 5 is a strong number. So will it push 9? Yes, yes, correct. It will push. So 5 will become 0 and 9 will become 10. So 9, 157 will be rounded off to 1000. 
again 2 will be 0. 9 is, 9 is a strong number. So it will push. So first let 9 be 0 and 2 will be pushed up to 3. Here again 1 will be 0. What is 5? 5 is a strong number. So here also 3 will be pushed up. Okay. So 5 will become 0. 3 will be pushed up to 4. Here again, here all see, I have taken the example and everywhere it is strong number. Again 6 will be 0 and 8 will be which one number? 8 is strong number. So 9 will be pushed up. So 8 first 0 and after pushing 9 will become 10. So see 957 rounded up to 1000, 292 rounded up to 300. 351 rounded off to 400 and 986 rounded off to 1000. So here children you are saying that how are we going to round off the number. Okay. So today there will be no worksheet as such. Here only I will give you a few examples in which you are going to round it off. Okay. You will do it in your notebook just for the practice. So round off the given number to the nearest 10 and 100. Round up the uh, given number to the nearest 10 and 100. So here I will just give you just for practice I will give you two numbers. Okay. So let 1 be 5, 3, 1, 4. This you round up to nearest 10 and nearest 100. Another example I will give it is 2, 3, 7, 9. Okay children, here I have given you two examples. One four digit number, another five digit number. So what you do, you need to do this question, okay, just for practice. And in the next class, we will learn round of the number to the nearest thousand. After we uh, do thousand, after these three complete uh, uh, work, nearest ten, nearest hundred and then nearest thousand, then you will get a worksheet with the mixed question of all these three and then you will solve it. For today only, these two questions will round up to nearest ten and nearest hundred and practice in your number. Okay? Thank you. Have a nice day.